With Just In Mind Prototyper, it's really easy to start prototyping without any technical background. Drag elements from the components panel and drop them in the canvas. Once there, select it if you want to move it around or change its size. You can also use grids, rulers, or guidelines to adjust your design to the pixel. You'll find them in the menu View. When positioning an element in the canvas, blue lines will appear to help you align the element with the rest of the design. At the bottom of the canvas, you'll find a small toolbar related to the canvas view and size. There, you can edit both the resolution and the zoom, as well as the type of elements that you want to show on the screen. It's also important to know that once components are in the canvas or on a screen, they are organized in layers on top of each other. To modify this order and bring an element at the front, right-click on it, go to Order, and click on Bring to Front. The image component is used to place images in the canvas. The default image is just an empty square that you can replace by a real image of your choice, double-clicking on it or editing its properties. Each prototype is organized through screens. To create new screens for your prototype, just click on the plus button above the list. To change a screen name or delete it, right-click on its name in the list and click on Edit or Delete. To edit the content of a screen, just click on its name in the list and it will open in the main canvas. Just in Mind Prototyper lets you copy and paste any element on the canvas to reuse on other screens. You can use the Edit menu, or use the usual keyboard shortcuts, Control plus C and Control plus V, or Control plus X to cut. You can even duplicate content using Control plus D, or dragging and dropping an element while pressing the Control key.